The question that I raised earlier on, you know, you're a Sri Lankan guy who actually had a lot of passion towards drama, television, movies and all here in Sri Lanka mm -hmm. when you were studying and here you go to a foreign country and then you launch your career mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Uh, you have, I think, around 11 titles to your, uh, you know, to a credit. Uh, you've been doing, not this is not your first movie, you've been doing uh, several other short uh, movies and all movies those things. TV series. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. So why haven't you done that here? What was the reason that, you know, what are the issues that you face, you know, trying to get something sorted out here versus doing something there? Absolutely, Mahesh, because I think I always knew I wanted to do whatever I was doing, whether it was acting or singing or filmmaking. I wanted to do it to the highest level possible, not just as a hobby. I wanted to do it professionally and reach the top, you know. So, for example, as a singer, you know, I've now done a solo concert at Carnegie Hall, mm -hmm. which, I mean, obviously... And a massive achievement. And, like, that's the kind of thing, Mahesh, where, you know, one thing is access to those places like Carnegie Hall, but also the training that is required to get to that level. Like, for me to make the movie Oscar eligible and to have appeared on the short list of films mm -hmm. eligible for Oscar nominations, you have to train as an actor, as a singer, as a filmmaker. So, you know, I mean, I, I went to university and studied these subjects. And even beyond university, because unfortunately, Mahesh, in Sri Lanka, you don't have uh, degrees in drama or music or cinema. Uh, I think the subjects here are fairly traditional. I think uh, it's mostly diplomas that they are. Uh, mostly they diplomas, you know, but not to do like Bachelor of Arts degrees or Master's degrees, you know. And, uh, and, you know, Mahesh, even after I graduated from uh, the University of Southern California, you know, I continued to take acting uh, coaching and singing coaching in Los Angeles, weekly coaching sessions with different coaches, because that's the other thing, you know, in Sri Lanka, you don't have that. People just do it for fun. There's no training. They don't take it. I mean, some people, they realize that it's a craft, but there aren't really any people to... Th to train them to that degree, you know, where they can do a solo concert at Carnegie Hall like I did, or where they can produce a movie that the Oscars have shortlisted. And, I mean, for me... You mean the facilities and, and, uh, and the expertise is missing. So, uh, in mm -hmm. your opinion, like you've seen both sides mm -hmm. uh, here and even in, in America, in Hollywood itself, the, the heartbeat of this entire craft. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is missing at the end of the day? Why can't we get that same thing here? I think maybe if there was perhaps uh, state support and funding to, like, I mean, look at this studio. It's like state of the art, like on par with anything in America, right? So if we could have that kind of maybe funding, I don't know whether it would come from the state or who would, you know... Uh, there is a little, I mean, I, you were part of this, uh, you know, there, are, there, there is a very uh, good industry in Sri Lanka, the stage plays, yes. the English stage dramas, which yes. is very much known within the English speaking community. In Colombo, yes. That it has never expanded beyond that. Uh, yes. Then we do have the singular uh, stage oh, yes. drama, which is big in Sri Lanka. Uh, it is not getting the same kind of recognition, a global recognition it should like the English play. Mm -hmm. So there is this battle between language and, uh, you know, who's doing what kind mm -hmm. of thing. So there are committed uh, stage uh, drama uh, directors, companies, who is like pretty much, I mean, you've been part yes. of that here when you were here. So, uh, how can we take it to the next stage? I mean, you've seen uh, both sides yes. of it. What is your opinion in terms of like, how, how can we push it to the next level? I think, you know, maybe uh, funding state support and uh, having institutions, universities that have, you know, let's say a full-time, uh, mm. uh, you know, drama, uh, not just a faculty, but like, you know, like at USC, you have the School of Theatre, the School of Cinema, you know. So, fa faculties, institutions where, you know, you have a Bachelor of Arts degree in acting or in cinematic arts. And, you know, because if we have the, the infrastructure set up to mm. do it, I think we can even easily get down uh, professors from all over the world. I'm sure people will be very happy to come here and share their expertise with us. And uh, then they, in turn, can collaborate with our local people in the Darmasena, Jerome De Silva, Feroz Kamardin, and even the, in the Singha Theatre, like uh, 
I I loved the late Somalata Subasingh who was very very kind to me I think her son I believe continues her legacy right and and I think her daughter in law Kaushalya Fonseca so there are all these amazing people I mean Somalata Subasingh did a Sinhala musical version of Snow White called Himakumaria mm. which I think is world class you know so I think what's miss what's lacking in Sri Lanka to be honest is that people don't take the art seriously uh, and it's not just the state but even the general public ah oh, it's just a fun thing is yes, you just you know they don't respect artists mahesh there are all these talented people who are serious about the craft but they are unable to study it and take it to the next level because i mean i was privileged that my parents my mother allowed me to take drama and theater as a subject for for my a levels but you know how many parents in sri lanka would even allow their children to study drama for their a levels you know